What joke will your dad just not let go of? The scene in Wedding Crashes, where Will Ferrell is yelling at his mom to bring the meatloaf. When my mom is cooking, he'll sit in the living room and yell MAAA, the meatloaf, between laughs. He often works himself up to tears because he's laughing so hard at himself. Anyone, I have a question. My dad, always, does it involve a woodchuck? Do you have holes in your socks? No. Then how do you put them on? I knew it was a lost cause when my then 6 year old son asked our cashier this at the grocery store. Every cemetery we passed. Oh man. People are just dying to get in there. Yep heard that all the damn time as a kid. He would then follow up with the did you know that people who live in this town can't be buried in there. Whenever my dad and my husband are having a conversation and I walk into the room. My dad will loudly say just make sure she never finds out. Then he will look at me and say oh hi honey. Every time I ask him where one of my brothers is he responds oh s asterisk asterisk t. I forgot him and won't tell me where they actually are. Every. Single. Time. Dad, can you make me breakfast? Abracadabra, your breakfast. We're all grown. And out of the house with kids of our own I think my father's favorite thing about being a grandfather is being able to reuse these jokes. Hope it works. We just found it in the parking lot. When paying with a credit card at just about everywhere. Dad, did you get a haircut? No I got them all cut. Me. Dad I just stubbed my toe on the coffee table. Dad, don't do that. It hurts. Whenever we talk about hearing problems he goes like ha, in an overly exaggerated voice. Edit. Thank you to the people who shared their own experiences with this dad joke. It can get annoying real quick. But an article that my dad read a couple weeks ago said that dad jokes are used by dads to get closer to their kids. Yeah my favorite son. Him his only son. The Danish crown prince recently celebrated his 50th birthday. There was of course a bunch of speeches, but the one from his wife was the best. At one point she tells everyone, considering the entire Danish press corps was present, that whenever they're at a restaurant out of the country the waiter will always end up asking are you finished? And without fail, every single time, the heir to our throne will lean back, grin, and say no no, I'm Danish. Pinch me and poke me went down to the lake. If pinch me drowned, who was safe? Kid says poke me. Dad moves in for the tummy poke. Background knowledge, I have a peanut allergy every time I'm eating a cookie or really anything, without peanuts. My dad will say how's that peanut butter cookie taste? Whenever I ask him who somebody is, literally every time for my 32 years on this earth, me, host Jeff Smith. Dad, oh, he's one of Mrs. Smith's little boys. Every goddamn time for 30 plus years with no signs of stopping. $5 every time we ask for something. Can I have the TV? $5 what's for dinner? Is that felt? Touches fabric now it is. When at a restaurant server, how a slash was everything. Dad, motioning at clear plate. Terrible. You should take it back and have them make another. Everyone does a rolling eye laugh. Server brings the check. Dad, is this negotiable? Every damn time. If it takes three men to dig three hole in three days, how many days does it take three men to dig half a hole? There is no answer because any hole is a hole. I can't count how many times he has told this joke. Any time a server asks if he wants a to-go box for leftovers, do you want a box for the burger? Dad here. I won't let go of the New Year's jokes. Happy New Year. Wow I'm so tired. I haven't slept all year. Asterisk the next morning everyone's probably very hungry. We haven't eaten all year. Time for a shower. Kids, you haven't bathed all year. Repeat until my wife and kids yell for me to stop. Then repeat two more times. My dad has one has held on to since he was a kid. There was a book he and his brothers borrowed from the library called Brian and the Long Long Scarf, and one of his brothers was named Brian. So he goes Brian and Brian says what? And my dad goes. And the Long Long Scarf. Don't interrupt. 
Now decades later he tries to pull it on my brother and I, only with our names. Even though it doesn't make sense. Because neither of us is named Brian. One time he ordered pizza with a side of cheese bread that came with marinara sauce. He was like you're eating pizza with a side of pizza. We all laughed, but it was 4 years ago, and he brings it up every goddamn time. Are you cold? Go in the corner. It's 90. If anyone ever offers my dad a beer anywhere, he would say something along the lines of thanks that's my favorite kind of beer. The host or whoever would say, oh Budweezer slash IPA slash lager, or whatever is your favorite? He'd respond no, my favorite is free beer. It's actually a shirt with a joke on it. My dad has a shirt that says I'm not a gynecologist, but I can take a look. My mom has thrown the shirt out multiple times. I have no idea where he gets them. He doesn't know how to use the internet. My dad is a senior citizen. Help. My dad used to have a joke he'd say at various checkout counters and cash registers. When he was told the price he owed, he would respond with a dollar what? As if to say I heard you say the price was one dollar and some cents, but I missed the number of cents. Needless to say this joke was always told when the cost was far more than one or two dollars. I used to roll my eyes at this one plenty. About ten years ago, my father passed away. To this day I wish I had said a dollar what? When told the price of his funeral. My dad pulling his eyes back making the stereotypical Chinese eyes and saying rice again. When my mom makes rice every night for dinner, we are Asian. While doing my math homework as a kid dad, hey, did you hear about the constipated mathematician? Me, uh, no. Dad, he worked it out with a pencil. Took a while to finish my homework that night. Oh god. Whenever we were on a road trip, whenever we asked how long it was, until we reached our destination, the answer was 3 quarters of an hour. I hated it. If anyone says I'm hungry, he goes hi I'm Cliff, drop over sometime. My mom confirms he's done this since before he was a dad. Also, every time he calls me ever, since I've had my own phone slash cell phone, he always breathes heavily and goes I'm your father when I pick up. Every time at the cash register, cashier, how are you doing? Dad, not as rich as I wanna be, healthier than I should be. My dad used to like to make fun of the music I liked as a preteen girl. Head often and change the lyrics to something really silly and embarrassing. Just a couple for example, he changed the Hannah Montana song Nobody is perfect from everybody makes mistakes to everybody likes big stakes. Another one was the song All These Things that I've done by the killers. He changed the bridge to I've got no, but I'm not a donut. He still tells these jokes to me. I'm 23 years old. What kind of bees make milk? Boobies. This is how he introduces himself to any girl I bring home. If I text or see him on New Year's Eve dad will always do the see you next year joke. Mom's not immune to lame either. Whenever she talks about plugging something in, she always, badly, sings the Glade plug it in, plug it in jingle. It's actually more annoying than the next year joke. What do you call a sleepwalking nun? A Roman Catholic. I've heard this joke 500 plus times no question. It's been a meme for him to bring it up to me since before memes were a thing. Can you smell popcorn? Every time he farts. Whenever I told my dad I was hungry, he never failed to respond with hi hungry. Every time I belched, he'd say bring it up again and well vote on it. Every. Time. Creamy substance. Here's a story. We were eating dinner rice and chicken. My parents usually put butter on the rice to add a little flavor, and I really really like rice. So when they put it on the table I took a big scoop of it. Now I did not know that the butter had melted, and I took a big bite of my rice mountain. However, there was something chewy ash in the rice. I made a face and my mom asked, what's wrong? I respond with, I dunno. There's some sort of creamy substance in my rice. It's really gross. So I spit it out. We all see the glob of butter and they all lose their minds laughing. To this day, whenever we eat rice, they ask make sure there aren't any creamy substances in there. This happened when I was 39-25. 
Asterisk DAD opens driver side car door, while engine is still RUNNING asterisk asterisk BELLSDINGS asterisk asterisk DAD reading aloud the lit up warning door is ajar, asterisk DAD turns to everyone with a goofy smile door is not ajar, door is a door, I swear I must have lived that exact scene over a thousand times, and I guarantee I will be doing it with my kids. Whenever he drops or fumbles something he says I should work for Ralstad. You know, the good hands people. I've been charitably laughing at it for years. Does your face hurt? Cause it's killing me. It's sort of the opposite for me. My dad had a joke that I don't let go of. Many years ago my older brother and my mom got into a heated argument about gay marriage and my brother eventually said what if me or Tanga Peanut Butter were gay, would you and dad still love us? And my mom. A little hurt said of course we would love you. We would love both of you no matter what. Then my dad, trying to break the tension, chimed in with the response yeah we'd only care. If you're pitching or catching I almost fell out of my chair laughing. And the argument ended right there. I'll bring up that line to my dad every once in a while and he's always embraced. It's not really a joke, but he ends almost every encounter with see you when the Cubs win the pennant. They did it dad. They won the F asterisk asterisk KING pennant. Just move on. When I was a kid, whenever my dad would lecture me, he would always add you're not gonna understand why I'm telling you this until you're older he passed away when I was 22. And now that I'm older so many of his lectures he gave as a kid ring so true in my adulthood. So he forever gets the last laugh. Those lucky enough to have had good relationships with their dads, remind them that you love and appreciate them. Me, I'm hungry. Dad, hi hungry I'm dad. I used this on my 5 year old last week, when he told me he was thirsty his 5 year old mind was perplexed and confused. Make sure to like and subscribe for more daily content. Thanks for watching.